Here we're in my 5th gen 4Runner. Um, I read online that you can get some additional storage space by removing this little panel here. Um, and there's some space under here. Of course I've got the inverter. Um, so there won't be too much space, but this is really going to help me in um, running the wires for my dual battery system since I plan on putting my Blue C fuse box over here. Uh, what I read online, and thank you guys so much for posting things online um, on those forums. It helps so much, and there's a wealth of knowledge there. I'm just trying to put it into video so that people uh, can get a little better understanding of what's going on and how to do it. I'm no expert by any means. I've just done a little bit of research. So what I can tell is that the side that's uh, closest to the window has some clips that we can easily pry this side up but the other side right here is um, screwed in so we're gonna have to break the brackets there's two of them from what I've seen uh, that are supposed to break cleanly and I really hope that they do and then we just trim a little bit off and we'll be able to pop this in and out as we want you know whenever we want and there's this is the passenger side there's going to be another one on the driver's side so you you know do whatever you want i'm just trying to show you how i think it's done uh so let's go for it just get a little trim removal tool so i can pry it up a little bit okay snapped out now here's the really scary part you're gonna have to break things and generally I don't like to do that, but hey, do what you gotta do. So, there we go. These are broken off quite cleanly. Uh, I think we can unscrew those screws, take them off, and we'll just be able to put this thing in and out whenever we want to. We're back in the Forerunner, and we're going to test to see if anything else needs to be removed. Voila!